for simplicity, we have so far described a native folded protein molecules as being in one single state. However, within this state, the protein molecule does not have a static rigid structure at normal temperature. Instead, all atoms are subject to small temperature dependent fluctuations. The molecules as a whole undergoes breathing and every atom is constantly in motion. And sometimes uh, so certain collective movement uh, could be found uh, for the certain state or functional uh, activity. Uh, and also we could see uh, some large scale of structural set, uh, changes uh, as in protein folding. Okay, we already saw some uh, categories belonging to the second mm, in the hemagglutinin by uh, low pH and uh, uh, grow EL and ES uh, uh, by induced by ATP and grow ES binding. And the uh, earlier uh, example not explained uh, in this case will be uh, the myoglobin in action binding. Uh, We're going to see several uh, cases uh, for the second uh, type collective movement. Uh, first one will be uh, CDK, cyclin dependent uh, protein kinase. The five phases of uh, standard eukaryotic cell cycles are shown in A. During M phase, uh, growth stops and the cell then divides. Uh, DNA replication is confined to uh, S phase uh, and there are two gaps between uh, M and S uh, called G1 and G2 uh, between S and M. Uh, sometimes cells uh, which are not dividing enter the stationary phase G0 in B, regulation of CDKs by cycling uh, degradation, only two types of cycling uh, CDK complex are shown here. One that triggering S phase, and one that triggering M phase. Uh, in both cases, the deactivation of CDK requires cycling uh, binding. Okay. This inactivation depends on the cycling uh, degradation. Okay. We are going to look at the uh, structures feature uh, of uh, uh, CDK2 and cyclin A, which are responsible for uh, change uh, phase from G2 S. CDK2 uh, in inactive state has two domains, N terminal domain uh, with 5 beta and 1 alpha in red color that is called PSTAIRE and C-terminal domain uh, alpha helices uh, with one T loop which is flexible uh, ATP binding sites are position uh, crevice between two domains cyclin A has a two cyclin boxes uh, each with five helices with different colors. 
see, in C, you, can, you see the complex of two uh, components. Uh, in this structure, cycle in A just remain uh, unchanged for each structure, while CDK2 uh, experience dramatic changes in mostly in two regions. Uh, red one and green one compared to structures. We are looking at the uh, PSTA IRE helix in two states. The inactive form in yellow uh, and active form in blue they are overlapped uh, to show uh, how much they, uh, they are different in their conformations. So this uh, PSTARE helix just uh, flip by uh, 90 degree and some movement uh, by 8 angles wrong, uh, especially the catalytic group in 59 uh, flip uh, from here to uh, this side where active sites are actually uh, positioned. T loop undergoes big structural changes. Yellow one in inactive forms, active in B. Cycling binding induce uh, this kind of dramatic changes. Uh, PSTA IRE uh, again uh, flip uh, so that the uh, active site uh, E51 uh, interact with uh, uh, making some salt bridge uh, with another uh, active site uh, lies in 33. In uh, T loop, uh, it just uh, move uh, some residues shifting uh, by up to 20 angstrom, uh, which is quite uh, long distance. Uh, active site, this region, uh, opened uh, from uh, blocking position to the substrate here you can see to the open uh, the position so that the uh, substrate proteins could bind to here uh, for the phosphorylation uh, some portion um, changed from alpha helix to the beta three sheet uh, D45 uh, making uh, bond with uh, magnesium uh, uh, ATP complex. This is a cross section view uh, for the uh, inactive and active uh, the state. In a inactive state, active sites uh, in cleft. cleft uh, between the N terminal blue and C domain, uh, purple uh, is blocked by uh, this one, T loop. In active state, uh, T loop undergoes structural changes so that, as you see here, active sites is open available uh, for a substrate binding. And also, another uh, important point is uh, threonine 160 uh, is opened in active state from the uh, buried uh, state. Uh, the phosphorylation of uh, this uh, threonine uh, is critical in uh, activation of uh, catalytic activity of this uh, protein. Calmodulin is a ubiquitous calcium binding 
protein of 148 residues that is involved in a range of calcium dependent signaling pathways. Calcium a uh, calmodulin binds to a variety of proteins such as ca kinase, calcium pump, and uh, um, proteins involved in motility, uh, thereby regulating their activities. All protein substrates, they just uh, share uh, in terms of uh, uh, structure, the alpha uh, helixi, hel helix uh, binding to the uh, calmodulin, uh, even though they varied in their sequences. Uh, this slide shows you uh, different structures when camodulin alone or uh, as a, the substrate alpha helix. Uh, ECF has a, a dumbbell uh, structure. Uh, each has two EF hands with uh, calcium. Uh, it has a long uh, stretch of a single arm alpha helix, but uh, when it binds to uh, substrate, the middle five residues just uh, uh, turned into random structure so that the uh, two uh, ends just uh, interact with each other, uh, making a uh, compact globular uh, structure. Next example will be serpin. Uh, infections in the lung uh, elicit an accumulation of activated leukocytes. Uh, the secret enzymes involved in removing the damage done uh, the infection. The neutrophil elastase is uh, such enzyme. The proper control of activity of this enzyme uh, could be done by uh, Fourier's inhibitor named alpha antitrypsin. Uh, Alpha antitrypsin belongs to a family of serin proteases inhibitors found in the blood plasma that are collectively called serpin. This shows the uh, uh, structure of uh, serpin. Uh, active sites are uh, in red regions. There are three uh, states: uh, active, uh, clipped form, and latent forms. Red regions. In inactive form shows this kind of structure, uh, while the uh, inactive clipped forms uh, shows uh, the fully uh, inserted uh, between two uh, beta strands with a uh, long stretch of uh, beta pretty sheets. Later forms similar to clipped forms but unclipped. Next uh, topic is about the allostric effect. At the molecular level, uh, they could be explained by two models. Uh, phosphor or uh, fructokinase in glycolysis is regulated by allosterically. Positive effectors are uh, fructose 6 phosphate and ADP. Negative effector is PP. The reaction catalyzed is shown here and the PP structure. Uh, each polypeptide has, uh, uh, forms two do domains. One domain has an active site for the uh, ATP and F6P binding site, and the other uh, domain has effective binding site. Uh, nearby, uh, the loop region called 6F loop is critical in uh, regulating. This protein is tetramer, existing in two forms. T Inactive are active forms. They might differ from uh, interactions between uh, polypeptide, tight, and loose. Active site of R forms favor binding of uh, F6P due to the uh, plus charge uh, arginine, uh, whereas that of T form is not because of this negatively charged. Uh, positive effectors uh, binds to the R form, uh, while negative effector binds to the uh, T form. ATP equally binds to R and T. That's why uh, we could explain uh, shift of uh, forms.